Well, hello, YouTubers. So I've got my little mini homemade sluice set up again. My little mini recirculating sluice that I built a couple videos back. And today, what I'm running through it is some um, crushed up hard rock gold ore from a hard rock mine. It's been pulverized pretty good, and I'm running it through the sluice. And I'll tell you what, the sluice is catching gold, if it'll show up. But yeah, there's there's gold over here. Let me see if I can get a better focus on it. Gold over here. Gold here. Gold here. Gold up here. Gold over here. Big chunk of gold back here. Um, and I haven't seen gold any further down the sluice than about here. So it's all gathering up here in the top section of it, which is really good. But everything's going in the catch bucket, so I can always run the material through again. I've got a lot of material to run through, and uh, I'm already catching a lot of gold, even though I've just started. So what I'll do is I'll run all this stuff through. I'll give you a look at what the sluice looks like afterwards. Maybe I'll run it for a while, let the sand get out of the ripples so the gold shows up better. Then what I will do is do a clean out, clean out the contents of the sluice into a pan, see if we can... Uh, get all the gold together and uh, see how much there is. I'll show you that later. Still going. Got a ways to go. Only got about half the material through here, but boy the top of the sluice is really turning gold and I like that. I'm feeding the material in slow. I don't want to overload the sluice. Give the, chance to, give the ripples a chance to clear out before I put in another scoop so the gold has somewhere to settle into. Um, I got this material from the Crisson Gold Mine in Dahlonega, Georgia. They sell bags of their ore crushed. You can get it in several concentrations. I I can't remember what this is, what concentration. It may be their regular low-grade stuff. It may be some of their concentrated stuff. I doubt it's their super concentrated stuff because that's almost expensive. I bought it... I bought this stuff back before I got married, so that means I've had it for a few years now. And I basically forgot about it with all of the hustle and bustle involved in getting married and moving and getting my house ready to be rented out. So I was doing some uh, cleaning up and rearranging of my workshop yesterday, and I found this stuff, and I'm like, oh! Wow, I never did anything with this. And how fortuitous. I have just built a new sluice. Let me run this through the sluice. And we'll see what we get. So, anyway, like I said, I'm doing it slowly. I'm maybe half done. This is going to take a while. I won't make you watch it all. I'll just show you the results. Okay, all the material has gone through the sluice, and I'm just running it to try and clear out the, the blonde and black sands as much as possible and any other debris in here before I do a clean out. But I really hope all that gold in the top of the sluice is showing up. I mean, there's gold here, 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 here. There's gold way over by the edge of the mat over here. There's gold up in here, all through here, here, up by the edge of the mat up here. There's that big piece over there. I think that came out in the first or second scoop and it's been sitting there the whole time. So there's a lot of gold here and as the water continues to run I see more and more of it peeking out of the ripples as the stuff on top gets washed away. So this is really good and I'm not really seeing much gold below the first wing nut. It's all getting caught up here where I put, was putting the scoops in. I'd see the, the scoop of material melt away in the water flow and a piece of gold appear and just drop down into the ripple and not move a millimeter. So that's pretty good. I think I've got this thing tuned pretty good for catching this, this Chris and mine gold because I know from experience with it, it's pretty big gold. There's not a lot of fine dust in it. Um, it's all mostly plus 30 with occasional pickers and small nuggets. So I think this, this sluice is tuned to catch that size gold really well, it's working really well. So like I said, I hope that's showing up. And let's see. 
I don't really see anything further down. There is one thing right about here that may or may not be gold. It may just be a flake of mica. It's really hard to tell. There's, there's a lot of mica flakes in this stuff and they'll do a good job of imitating gold. But it hasn't moved in a good half hour, so I'm thinking it might be gold. But, you know, that's not even midway down the sluice. So I'm pretty sure we've caught all the gold up here in the top of it. So I don't think I'm even going to bother rerunning the stuff in the catch bucket. I think we've got all the gold. So I'm just going to let this run a little while longer and see if I can wash as much of the blonde and black sand out of the ripples as I can. Because I know, also know from experience with this Chris and stuff, there's going to be a lot of black sand. In fact, the ripples, I don't know if it's showing up, are just literally packed with black sand. So that's going to make panning this stuff a real challenge. But that's okay. I like a challenge. Especially when the prize is gold. So I'll show you what this stuff looks like in the pan. Alright, I have been carefully panning the concentrates from the sluice out. There was a lot of black sand like I thought. The, the pan was pretty much loaded with it. I was panning over here in my uh, basin over here with a catch pan down here to catch anything just in case something washed out of the pan or if I got fumble fingered and dumped everything it, it'd be there and I could repan it. Always use a catch pan that way you don't lose anything. But I don't think I've lost anything because this is a pretty big gold and it's it's staying right in the pan right where I want it. Let me see if I can do this on on camera here. You see if I can uh, uncover the gold and if it'll show up because it's underneath this big pile of black sand up here top of the pan it's starting to peek out it's really awkward reaching through my tripod but there you can start to see the gold I hope that's showing up get a little closer and focus okay oh, It's up there. Let me uh, reduce it a little bit more. Oh, there's a piece of gold trying to get away. Perfectly honest, you're not supposed to touch your gold with your fingers because body oils might make it float. But there's a, some big chunks there uncovering. Oops, see that piece float? A couple pieces floating away there. All right, so let me uh, stop what I'm doing and see if I can gather this gold up. It's hard to do it on camera. And uh, see if I can get rid of some more of this black sand. All right, it's taken a little bit of work, but I've got a line of fairly clean gold there in the pan. Finally. So, you know, it's not a huge amount, but... Uh, for something I found in the back of my workshop, forgot about. Not too shabby for a few hours work, huh? So I'm going to suck this up with my snuffer bottle, get it safely out of the pan, and I will add it to my collection of placer gold, even though this isn't technically placer gold. This came out of crushed hard rock um, material. But still, it's, it's pretty much the same as placer gold chemically. So I can't treat this like I do the IC chip gold, because it's got a lot of silver in it. And uh, I'm just going to add it to my ever-growing collection of placer gold. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting, educational, informative. Just killed a few minutes, whatever. Give the video a like. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can see future videos. Press the little bell button so you'll be notified when the videos come out. There's always more videos coming. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.